In this scene we have rocks which we want to texture. We'll just hide the background layer for now. Next, we'll select all the rocks and create a group. And for that group, we'll get an XY projection. Then for the top rocks, we'll create individual projections, cylindrical this time and name the projections TP individual rocks. For the bottom rocks, we'll also get individual projections but spherical this time, and assign the same name. Now, let's slightly modify the projection names of some of the rocks. We'll only keep the first letters identical. We're doing this because later on we'll show how to use a wildcard to quickly specify the projection for the rocks. Okay, so now we can select the group and get a material, and then get a texture. Under the projection area, we'll choose the TP Group Rocks projection for all the group members. As you can see, if we transform the texture support used by that projection, all the rocks are updated. We can also change the projection individually for each rocks by simply choosing the rock from the drop-down menu and selecting the other projection that we created earlier. We can now see that the top rock's texture is updated when we transform the cylindrical texture support but does not change when the group texture support moves around. Now instead of choosing individual rocks one by one and changing their projection as we did for rock one, we'll do an overall group change and enter the name TPIND with an asterisk, which is the wildcard that says, for each rock, choose the first projection that starts with the letter TP underscore IND. All rocks are now using their individual projection to apply the current texture. From the material library, we can now save a preset, which can be reused later to texture our rocks. Just as long as the projection names on our objects don't change, then there shouldn't be any problem to reload the preset. 
By the way, if I had had render region active when I saved my preset, it would have used the image as a thumbnail. Now we can see how convenient this is if we need to save many presets to quickly give different looks to our objects. We simply drag and drop the preset on the group and the correct projections will be used.